employees of McDonald's. What secrets did you discover while working there? My old McDonald's had a basement. The McDonald's in my hometown had a basement. I didn't work there, but on days where they had a shipment in. I'd watch them slide boxes down a slide that covered half the stairs while waiting in the drive-thru. White Castle Building now. Eight assembled in Minneapolis in 1936. Has a basement. Here it is on the back of a truck during the first of two moves link. My first day on the job I was told to be on the lookout for the elderly gentleman who would try to sneak around the counter and pour the entire coffee pot into his mug while everyone was too busy to stop him. Did you ever catch him in the act? Ah <laughs> yes almost immediately. This just makes me think of Grunkle Stan from Gravity Falls. Local shyster Stan Pines link. Sources for sandwiches have the craziest dispensers. Ketchup and mustard are in these really rudimentary plastic funnel things that have a paddle in the handle. When you squeeze it gravity pushes just the right amount of sauce through holes. Doesn't seem like it'd work well, but it does, if you apply the proper amount of jiggling. The Mac sauce, mayo, and tartar though, they're in basically cork tubes that get loaded into basically cork guns. You pull the trigger on the handle and a really satisfying ratchety clanking delivers a powerfully saucy surprise for the awaiting buns. Problem is, it takes a bit of finesse, because if you hit that trigger too hard you'll blow the bun and the wad of cream right through the condiment station and onto the wall 8 feet away. No joke. The first couple tartar splurts of a fresh tube came out so hot I'd fire a shot or two in the trash to avoid premature spatulation during the lunch rush. The first salvo, properly elevated and adjusted for wind, could clear the whole kitchen and take out the McInfantry on the cash register. Premature splatulation. Beautiful. Depending on which one you work at, the parking lot is basically a meetup for druggies drug dealers and at least where I was in New Mexico people to meet up and have sex in their cars, as long as they kept their business to the middle of the night and didn't cause any serious problems. We were told not to call the cops or make a fuss, mostly because they'd come in and buy food after their shenanigans. Soda and mini pies were really popular with heroin addicts. What I later found out is that management was actually told to let it slide by corporate. Since everyone higher up was aware of how much money the night crowd brought in, I got to see many, many drug deals. I'm convinced I saw at least one arms deal. But I of course have no way of verifying that. Midnight shifts were draining but so much fun. The kitchen staff is cut by half, but the people who order are so funny. What I learned from working late night fast food is the freaks really do come out at night. And it's freaking hilarious. My coworkers and I referred to Wednesday nights as Weed Wednesdays, because the customers were usually chill. Mondays were Meth Mondays because, well, you know, as someone who is nocturnal and works second shift, only the best people are going about their day at 3am. At least the most interesting. From my raving days we learned the kind of people up around 4-5am at the crack of dawn are either on drugs after a night of partying, or ambitiously getting a start on their morning routine. There's not much in between. Before I worked there, I always thought they used a grill. Turns it's more of a heated press machine. Used to be a grill. Upgrades. Didn't realize that until I worked there. Another thing is about the McRib. I would never eat that again in my life. Gross how it's made and gross how it sits in a vat for half the day. I've never eaten a McRib. Nor do I plan to. But from the things I've heard. People only like it because of the sauce. You could fill a cup with just the sauce and people would probably buy that. My public elementary, middle, and high school served Mr. Rib on a bun. It was a McRib exactly. Drop any unopened chicken nugget sauce on the ground once you've got yourself a sauce grenade. Trash compactor can make for some fun explosions too. We had a vile pack of ketchup that needed tossed for whatever reason. Someone didn't realize it shouldn't go into the compactor. I go back after hearing a bang and a scream. Dude is just caked in ketchup and it shot up out of the barrel of the manual compactor and painted the wall, ceiling, and bun rack. They have since taken away the vowel packs. LOL. Poor dude operating it. I would have quit then and there. Because there is no way I wanted to have to clean up that mess. Along with the dirty clothing and hair. It's nowhere near as bad as when. Let's call him Jeffrey. 
You yeeted a bit of root beer down the load of board that goes downstairs. I tried to stop it like 4 feet from the end of the board. It hit me, spun me around, and broke out of my grasp. Smashed the wall. Box ripped open on stockroom lock latch, and gutted the bag. 5 gallons of root beer syrup. All over me. All over the floor. The walls. Everywhere. 4 mop bucket changes to get through it all. My laundry room smelled like a pop factory for a week. Oh gods. I had a friend who did a science experiment for high school chemistry and she chose to extract caffeine from soda syrup. I have never seen someone look so disgusted at soda syrup before. Apparently. 20 odd years later. She still can't stomach fizzy drinks. I would have plotted goatee levels of revenge on your co-worker after having to clean up that mess. Along with the old factory assault for a week. The pickles are surprisingly aerodynamic. They stick to walls, and if you have the stones manager shirts pretty well. Yeah. They fly amazing. Pretty sure me and my old crew cost that store a boy 1k the entire time we work there just throwing them things. LOL. Did you get McFired? No way they didn't notice that. Worked there in high school. Found out that, if you put the middle of a Mac bun in the fryer, and then add soft serve and strawberry topping, it tastes just like a funnel cake. Custom creations were the best part of working there. Edit I have thoroughly enjoyed hearing about all of your own custom creations. You have all made my work day much less boring. So thank you. Cheeseburger bun fried. Add the chair lad powder. Cinnamon donut. Are the cheeseburger buns different from the hamburger buns? Well yeah. You use them for cheeseburgers. I worked there when I was in high school. Not a secret. But I hadn't known much about franchises before then. I hadn't realized that McDonald's could vary quite a bit in quality and professionalism. Based on who the owners were and what type of management workplace they set up. I worked at a really good one with good management. I mean. But some are shit. I have two McDonald's near me. Both relatively same distance. The one I usually go to is more crowded. But I feel that the food is better prepared. And the drinks taste right. I've been to the other McDonald's before. Not as crowded. But the nuggets tend to have a stale texture and the coke has this weird. Bubble gum type aftertaste lol. I refused to go to the nearest McDonald's where I used to leave. Because the drinks tasted weird. I always suspected they added more water. Than is needed to the syrup to save money. It's seriously disgusting. Or there's mold slime and the ice maker. I always ask for no ice. I have sensitive teeth. And I hate dealing with that pain from going cold drink to hot food and back. Then I heard the horror stories and feel better. About it. The official deodorizing spray they gave us is the most pleasant thing I've ever smelled in my entire life. Even now. I wish I could smell it again. Edit okay. So this is a spray you use on the bathrooms or the bowl pit. To make them smell better. Not personalized deodorant. I managed a different kind of restaurant. But I know the exact cleaning spray you're describing. Once I had an employee who loved that smell so much, that he'd volunteer to clean the bathrooms, so he could be able to get close to it. He'd take deep inhales over the open bottles. Kid couldn't get enough. But as pleasant as it smells, it's a ton of serious chemicals in that solution. Probably safer not to take big huffs of it. But no one could talk him out of doing it. Eventually I had to stop letting him clean the bathroom. LPT want to get out of bathroom duty. Pretend you're getting high on the cleaning products. Why pretend? Ah. The method actor. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing for more videos.